Today's proceeding is to determine whether Judge Dawn Gentry should be sanctioned or even removed for her conduct. This is a sad story about retaliation uh, and reward. And the proof you're going to hear over the next five days uh, will show that on time and time and time again, that Judge Gentry retaliated against those uh, who crossed her, who, who didn't follow uh, what her wishes were. And conversely, you're going to hear time and time again that the evidence will show that she rewarded her friends and rewarded those uh, who assisted her. The allegations, among others, involve having a relationship with an attorney named Catherine Schultz and continuing to allow Schultz to try cases in front of her. The two of you all had an encounter in the bathroom of Mr. Penrose's basement. Yes. And you all were kissing. Yes. And if I understand your position and hers, I think we have a dispute between the two of you as to who started it, who was the more aggressor, who kissed who first. Yes, Fair sir. enough? Okay. Yes, sir. But setting all that aside, mm -hmm. regardless of who started, who kissed who first, and then who was second, who kissed who back, um, would you agree with me that you shouldn't have remained hearing her cases after that incident occurred? I agree. And there are allegations that Judge Gentry had a sexual relationship with Steve Penrose, a man who used to be her pastor and she hired as a case mediator. Has Steve Penrose ever sent you nude photographs? He has. And were these photographs that you kept and saved in a hidden photo album on your phone? I did. While these allegations are sensational, the commission perhaps will pay most attention to allegations that Judge Gentry would reward those who helped her campaign, retaliated against those who did not, lied to the commission, and tried to hide evidence by shredding documents. Judge Gentry is a fair judge. She's a conscientious one, but she's not perfect. And she made some mistakes, and we will freely admit those to the commission. Judge Gentry is on paid administrative leave during these proceedings. She makes about $137,000 a year. From the Campbell County Courthouse, David Winter, Local 12 News.